what's going on. This is David Lyon. And if you know this experience of um, feeling really exhausted um, and instead of taking a nap, going to sleep, just kind of chilling, um, what you tend to do instead is bombarding yourself with information, uh, watching YouTube, scrolling on Facebook, whatever it is, um, and then beating yourself up for it because you're going to bed late and you're not well rested uh, the next day. So kind of this cycle. Um, and this is what I want to address. I want to talk about um, why we have this pattern, um, kind of create a context for you to understand why am I doing this? Why don't I just um, stop distracting myself and rest if I kind of mentally know that that's what would actually support me? Um, why is it not so easy to get out of it? Um, and so once we've created that larger context, I will give you some um, things you can try out that might actually help you um, to calm down. So um, I'm creating this video because this is just something that's come up uh, in my own exploration with myself and also with clients and friends that I've been talking over the past couple of weeks is exactly this pattern. And I know it so well that um, sometimes the only way that I notice how tired I am is I'm sitting in front of the computer doing completely random stuff that feels completely useless um, and not fulfilling. And only then do I realize by this behavior, oh, I must be really tired. So I don't notice in my body the exhaustion. Um, I get kind of dissociated. I disconnect from the experience and I start distracting myself. And I can tell you that from like digging deep inside myself and exploring like, why is that the case? Why is it so hard to just slow down in these moments? Um, what I came to is that I remembered that as a child, I learned that it's not really okay to be tired. That I kind of got the message that if I said I was tired, um, it was kind of seen as a problem or as like, you shouldn't be tired, why you're tired. Um, didn't you sleep enough? I mean, you were in bed nine hours. Kind of this message of if you're tired, there's something wrong with you. Um, and I remember like feeling uncomfortable and ashamed when I felt tired. So the message that I took from that was it's not okay to be tired. And it creates this whole stress cycle of I feel tired, but then this thing comes up of like, I shouldn't be tired. So it feels kind of stressful and vulnerable to notice the tiredness inside of me while at the same time thinking that I shouldn't be that way. So it makes sense to start distracting myself and to not just allow myself to be tired, take some rest and then be recovered again, but to um, just do things to not notice so much how tired I am. Because again, it feels uh, stressful. It feels like I shouldn't be that way. Um, and obviously as children, like we would need the support of adults to help us realize like, oh, David, you're tired right now. Like we need this kind of mirroring to understand what's going on inside of us, um, to have a sense of, Ah, oh, okay, I understand my own experience and then to be able to take care of ourselves. If that doesn't happen, if we don't have um, adults caretakers in our lives who um, are sensitive enough, who are able to receive us and kind of mirror back what they perceive going on inside of us, um, we're not going to uh, develop this kind of self-awareness of like, ah, these kind of sensations in my body mean I'm tired. Like we don't create that link. So that's another reason why in my experience it can be like hard to even notice being tired unless you talk to someone. Like you might, you might know the experience of talking to someone and only while talking to them and sharing how you're doing, realizing, oh, I'm really tired, right? So if that doesn't happen in childhood, it can become like a blind spot. Like we don't really understand like, oh, these sensations mean I'm tired. And so that's the reason why it might not be so easy to just um, switch your behavior because it might be a quite deep pattern that, oh, I'm tired. I shouldn't feel tired. Um, it's kind of scary to be in that 
place because that's not where I should be. It's wrong. I'm being shamed. Um, so I start distracting myself and do, I do all kinds of things just so I don't have to feel how exhausted I am. Now, to take this a level further, um, I think it's important to add this dimension just to not go into blaming our parents for um, not supporting us adequately. Um, because well, it's good to keep in mind that allowing yourself to be tired is something that you can afford when you're in a relatively safe environment, right? So if you're going through very stressful, very challenging, traumatic times, you're not going to be able to like compassionately hold yourself when you feel tired because in dangerous situations, you need to be alert, right? You need to be um, present for potential dangers. So like being tired and dozing off is not a possibility. And so I believe that that is kind of a, like a generational thing that's being um, carried on from generation to generation that um, some generation, for example, goes through war experiences. And then uh, obviously in these times, you cannot just be tired. Like you have to buckle up and you have to work even if you're tired, whatever it is. And so then when this generation, when they become parents, they cannot support their children kind of regulate and understand when they're tired that they just need to rest like they're not going to be able to mirror uh, their children in this place so then again the children will have this um, pattern of uh, distracting themselves when they feel tired and this gets passed on and on and on so this is not in any way um, to blame our parents generation for not being present for us is just understanding that this is something that's probably been passed on um, for many generations and you can look just in your own life whether you can see this pattern in your parents or your great your grandparents your great grandparents like how do they relate to being tired do they just allow themselves to just um, really slow down when they when they feel like it or do they also distract themselves okay so now that we've created a context for um, this pattern, um, I want to share with you ways that I deal with it. Um, because for me, what definitely does not work is in these moments to be like, oh, I'm sitting in front of the computer <laughs> distracting myself with a million things, realizing through my behavior I'm tired, just going to bed and sleeping. Like, I'm too activated for that, right? Like, as, as I said in the beginning, there's this stress response that comes with the feeling tired. So we need to find things or ways to match our energy level to some degree because like stress, like boom, being activated and rest and sleeping, like they're quite far from each other. So it's gonna be quite hard to calm down um, when you're very stressed and just lie in bed and like I should sleep, I should rest. It's probably not gonna work. Um, so what works for me is to find kind of some things in the middle that can kind of guide me towards slowing down, calming down, and at the same time that maybe gives me some some kind of stimulation um, because I'm in quite a like an activated state, so I'm not able to just sit silently and be fully present and enjoy this present moment. So um, things that you can try out that work for me is listening to an audiobook while lying in bed, um, listening to a podcast. If that doesn't work, watching a TV series like something where there's some input from the outside, but it's less scattered all over the place, like being on social media or watching YouTube videos one after the other. Um, so it might help for the body to slowly calm down. Um, and once you're a bit more calmed down, maybe uh, it'll be possible to sleep or to just rest, to lie in bed or to meditate or whatever. But don't expect to go from this place of, I understand I'm tired, but I'm also like, I noticed there's this stress response. Don't expect to be able to go from there to, oh, I, I'm resting, I'm sleeping, uh, and I'm like able to calm down. Like find ways to transition from this stressed out space to feeling calm and find what works for you. Maybe it's uh, reading a book, maybe it's uh, calling a friend and just talking a bit. And then with the talking, kind of realizing the exhaustion and then allowing yourself to be exhausted because ultimately, um, avoiding the exhaustion 
it's like it stores the the tiredness, the exhaustion in our body. It's not like we feel more alive because of that. We just feel more disconnected and like um, stressed, and like we we've just, just like try to push over the exhaustion. But in the long run, this is obviously not sustainable. So finding ways to start feeling the exhaustion more and to start noticing it earlier on, uh, so that you can rest is paradoxically actually going to lead to more energy and more aliveness. So there you go. Uh, another strong reason to kind of try to um, change this pattern of uh, disconnecting from yourself when you feel tired um, and be gentle with yourself. So this is not something that you can do with force in the sense of, oh, there's this pattern of I disconnect from myself when I'm tired and this is my enemy. No. Like what, what we need to understand is this is an intelligent pattern. At some point, this was important, whether it was like a couple of generations ago that people just did not have the luxury of allowing themselves to be tired and to rest, or whether you look at it at your own life and realizing that as a child, you just did not have the support um, for someone to help you understand that you're tired. Like think of a baby, a baby, um, experiences something in their body which they, which it doesn't understand and it actually needs a caretaker to make sense of it. It's like, ah, you must be really tired right now, right? And then putting it into bed and then it can rest. But the baby by itself doesn't understand, oh, I'm tired, I need to sleep right now. Like it, in the first moment, it gets stressed by some sensations in the body. And so if we don't have this experience of someone helping us in this way make sense of our experience, that's the pattern that will com come out. Um, and that's what you might be dealing with as an adult right now. Now, again, there are ways out just to understand that this is not something that you can just like push through. We need gentleness, we need slowness, we need understanding for this pattern, and we need to kind of find like this transition from being stressed um, and like overstimulating ourselves to feeling super calm. And so try the things that I recommended, uh, try out different things if that doesn't work for you, like find your unique thing, but just understand like there's nothing wrong with you for having this pattern. Look around you, almost everyone has that. Um, and there are ways that you can slowly um, come to a more rested state by allowing yourself to be exhausted, all right? If you resonate with this video, give it a like. If you have questions, please put them in the comments. Would love to hear your experience on this exhaustion, especially in this fall winter period where I think it becomes even more present for many people. And I shall see you in the next video. Much love.